In this video, we are checking out this KST CM653 servo. We're going to be testing it versus the stock one that comes in this Rolarlo just to see how good it is. This is a super lightweight, low profile servo, still 12 kg at the 6.0 BEC voltage. Low profile, reduces some weight, can be a good, nice upgrade for some vehicles. First thing we're gonna do is set a baseline here. This has got a battery in it. This is still the factory servo. We're looking at speed as it goes. And then we'll look at strength. And what it looks like is the servo does have enough power to overpower the servo saver that's back here. Because you can see it continues to move. I can hold the front wheels straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten up the servo saver a little bit. Put a little more strain on it and see how it does. So now I put a number of rounds on that servo saver to really increase the tension on it. Let's see how it does now. Oh yeah, you can definitely see it struggling just a little bit more there. Yeah, I can feel a lot more force coming through here. All right, now we're turned it off. We're going to go ahead and, but you can see how they mount this here. We're going to look at getting this linkage off. We're going to look underneath here at the bottom side to get the servo mounting bracket off. Uh, unbundle all these wires and get this whole servo switched out. With all of that done, we can now get the servo at least partially out of here. I'm trying not to pull on it too much. You see the receiver up here has the antenna mounted in. So I'm trying to be very gentle with it. We now need to get one, two, three, four screws off. That will then let the servo out of this mounting bracket. After pulling the plug out, we can now have the servo all the way out. Noting that, one, the servo spline is on the outboard side of the vehicle. It was in there like this, so it was on the outboard side. we we'll make sure we re, uh, put the new servo in the same orientation. And that when the steering was centered, the servo horn was actually fully straight up and down. That is helpful for us to know as we put the new one in. Go ahead and get the... And here you can now see the just massive size difference between these two servos. I mean, this new KST, it feels like it's half the size of the old one. So I'll be very curious. Love to get that in there and, you know, get that weight reduction, move some things around in the vehicle. So looking, looking good, like this upgrade. Now what I can do is go ahead and power it on, plugged into the channel one here. And that way I can confirm the servo does work indeed. That is good. I can hear it moving back and forth. I can also go ahead and center it and put the servo horn on right now before having to bolt everything in and that way I know that the servo is centered. Now because the servo is so short, the output wires from the servo actually do hit the back side of this bracket. Now it looks like I can force it in there and it'll be fine anyway and it just bends those wires ever so slightly to the side. But you know what would be better is I'm going to come in and I'm just going to clearance with a Dremel just a little bit around this edge and that'll help make sure that I don't unduly pull on those wires and do any damage. Whole thing's all bolted back up. We're going to power it on. Now you may end up needing, I think I'm going to end up needing a little bit of just steering trim, but let's see. Oh my God, <laughs> look at that. That is much faster than the stock one. Let's see how it feels from a power standpoint. Oh man, we just immediately flexed that servo saver again. It's a little hard to tell. Oh shit, it's got some, it's got some good power to it. So. Uh, again, it's going to overpower the servo saver, so we're going to be good there, but much faster than what we saw with the stock servo. So, depending on our application and how we're using it, that is definitely a good thing. Now, of course, just like with any other normal typical servo install, I'm going to be checking out my total travel limit here on the controller because I don't want to burn up the servo by having it overextend too much. The servo saver is still going to help me a lot in that regard. But you can see here, if you can watch it real closely, I can get to the end of the steering and then the servo wants to push just a little bit more. So I can use this uh, knob here and actually turn down the total steering that I get to make sure that I don't overexert the servo too much and burn it up. 
I hope this video was useful for you. I test a bunch of different servos on the channel. So if you have any questions about any different servos for different applications, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. If you're looking at any more information on this Rilarlo vehicle, come over here. There's a playlist off to your right where that'll be. So thank you for watching and goodbye.